Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am here on the Chase and Defense server again, and I didn't do pretty much anything in the last few days because I was actually busy in real life. Um, I, I, I will talk about this later, but and the server quite some stuff changed, and also some very stupid stuff changed. For example, people decided to build on top of my base. Even though I marked it resigned, just just stuff like that. People being, <sighs> I better not even call it not. Um, basically, I I've been mining for like an hour of camera between the first episode and now, so I got some stuff, like I'm breaking two and sharpness two, not like one, no, nothing too major. Just did some some very basic enchants. Um, I don't know if. It was there in the first episode, but we have an enchanting table. And people also made potions, as it seems like, even though we agreed to not, but... I guess let them let them do what they want. Um, but yeah, first of all, I will build my base here. It's basically right next to the, the tiny jungle island or biome we have. And... Yeah, as, as mentioned, people built a farm on top of a base, and since they did it, it's mine now. And for in order to like to actually get some food, because I'm running quite low. Oh, sorry, had to cut here. But basically, I'm I'm running quite low on food here. And yeah, since I have these cows already, I'm I might as well use them. So I will build myself a a uh, a wheat farm. Not sea farm. <laughs> um, yeah, basically to breed those cows and to get started on the server. So I think this is the first project for for today. Um, I don't know where to place this wheat farm yet. Um, hmm. Like an actual proper wheat field would be kind of cool. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this, this this would be really cool, like a proper wheat field. I'm, I'm thinking now, because in this direction, like 200, 300 blocks, we have like a plains biome. And it would be actually really cool to have like a proper wheat field there. I I almost think like I should do it, because it's it would be a cool thing, like to have a proper wheat field. So let me make this one. Yep, a diamond hoe. The fancy stuff. Um, hmm. Now I'm thinking if I... If I should like have water there or should not. I almost think I should and hide it in places. Huh. Yeah, I, I should do this. Because I, th I think wheat grows faster if it has like um, water. So yeah, might as well do it. So basically about the stuff I've been busy in real life the last few days. Um, well, you, you pretty, I think you know that I have a motorcycle and I freaking love driving it. I drove about 13,000 kilometers since April. I got the bike since April, my license in April. And I drove 13,000 kilometers since. And that's a lot. A, <laughs> really, a lot. And of course, you get to get to meet people with bikes as well in order to like drive with them and group riding stuff. And well, one of those guys um, that I ride with is my cousin. Actually, well, I have two cousins who ride, but um, my the the younger cousin um, he has like a, a small machine. A 125 machine, 125 um, cubic centimeters. And yeah, I was thinking about like right here. Let me scout the area out more. Um, basically, he has a 125 cubic centimeters machine. Well, and yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do it right here. This area doesn't seem to be claimed, maybe down there, but there's a stone. Let me see if I can find something. 
Um, so with this one two five machine, okay, looks good. Um, he pretty much drives every day to every day to work with it. I I don't. And since he does, he has quite some some wear on it, and it's it's it looks rough. And I was driving with him like two weeks ago, and was was fine and everything. He actually complained about it, like getting slower, and he he hears he, his motor. He, he has like a, a motor damage or so. And I personally called crap on that because how would you notice it? But I guess you, you would notice it on your own machine if you could like get slower and stuff. And basically, he was right. Like on Monday, he sent me a message while I was at work that his machine broke down, and I, w I was pretty surprised. Like, yeah, <laughs> I was just surprised, like that it happened. And well, he said like that he doesn't really want to like repair it because it's re quite expensive to like bring a um motorcycle to, or pretty much anything that drives into a garage and let it get repaired and stuff. So I offered him, well, why not two together, like repair it up by ourselves. And well, on like Tuesday, I started driving to him and we looked at the machine, tried to do the basic fixing, like is the the ignition spark, is it is it okay? Is it still igniting? Is there is the air intake okay? Just, just the basic stuff, you know, and the fuel line is okay, if there's even fuel in the motorcycle, and everything looked okay and alright, and I, I was pretty surprised that it didn't start, um, then we started like taking the machine a bit, to, um, like taking it down and looking what could it be, and well, the, basically the first it was over then, the second day it was rainy, so I didn't do anything with the motorcycle there. The third day, that was yesterday, we pretty much took the whole engine um, apart. And if I, I wish I would have like pictures because it's almost unbelievable. That guy had so much luck, like the God, I have no clue how to call this, like the. The thing that is in the cylinder itself and moves up and down. In German it's called a uh, Kolben. And I have no clue what Kolben is called in English. But basically the thing in the cylinder that moves up and down and basically gets gets your gear spinning and your tire and stuff like that. So basically that thing looked extremely rough. Like... It, it had like deep scratches in it and I think he had pretty pretty damn luck that his cylinder didn't got damaged only his um, yeah the thing that moves up and down was extremely lucky in my opinion um, of course it's still like, right now it's still taking apart and it, it takes quite some time if you don't know exactly what to do and like things get stuck and you wonder yourself if you're doing it right, you watch a video to confirm that you're doing it right, and it turns out the thing was just pretty tightly in place. So all, all this stuff, like, I I have no big clue about motorcycle engines. This is basically the first time I'm taking an engine apart, like a big engine. So it, it's like trial and error, pretty much. And it's, it's not like you can damage an engine by looking at it. Or by taking apart, it's it's the the take put the um, putting together that is like a little bit critical. So, but as of right now, um, my cousin's probably gonna order like one of the new yeah the thing that moves up and down, and also um, some new like seals because they were of course broken and well. Th that's basically what I've been up to in the last few days, and it it's quite interesting to take an engine apart like this, because first of all, you save a lot of money by doing stuff yourself, like changing oil. I think pretty much everybody should be able to change oil. It's no matter if it's a motorcycle or a car, 
you save a lot of money through that. It's easily done by yourself, so why not do it yourself? I know quite some motorcycles do it by themselves, just because it, it's really dumb to like go to a garage to just get your oil changed. Everybody can do it yourself. Even like women who are who have basically no no idea about it. I mean, just watch a YouTube video tutorial and it's if you done like ten minutes. Um, also stuff you can do yourself is like on a, on a motorcycle, pr pretty much anything. Like for for cars, like I I I know people who actually go to the garage to get their tires changed. Like not. I, sh I should um, specify, like, not the actual tires. I would always let the gu uh, let the tires get changed in the um, the garage, like the tire of the rim. I I'm talking about like the tire and rim combined for like if you have to change the um, the wheels basically um, for winter the winter tires. Um, yeah, people go into garage for like getting the tires or the the, the wheels changed for. This is bizarre to me. Like they pay like 20 or 30 years to get their fucking wheels changed. And yeah, I, I'm i a huge fan of like doing stuff myself. And it, it saves money. It's pretty satisfying to save money and learn stuff about your, your thing to like... You're able to fix it on the go pretty much if you ever have a problem with a small one. And yeah, I, I can only suggest doing stuff yourself, especially... Well, if if you have a little bit of clue, just get going. If you have no clue, might as well watch some YouTube tutorials first. I mean, there are plenty good tutorials out there. It's it's not like they don't exist or hard to find. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm a huge fan. Just just because saving money is, is a huge deal, especially if you if you want to drive a lot. It's damn flow. It's well. Gas is expensive, especially over here in Europe. Like Americans have it pretty nice. They complain about high prices, but like they pay about sixty-five cents, like euro cents, per liter, or like three fifty, three sixty per gallon, which are four point five five liters. Um, and they complain about that. Like, have fun, like refueling in Germany. You'll, Italy. Italy is massive. Like, you pay like one euro ninety for one liter. Enjoy refueling there, especially like with the big American cars, like a Dodge Ram with like one hundred twenty liter tank. That is insane. Like, you pay pretty much two hundred euros to refuel your damn car. So you c you can use the money you save from repairing stuff on on fuel instead of like bring it to garage and. And stuff fixed by an unprofessional that you can easily do yourself, especially oil changing. So, yeah, I I have no clue what where, where I'm really going with this. I'm I'm just cleaning the field and my health is getting pretty low. But who cares if I'm dying? I I rather have my death count up than like using potions. I I really want to enjoy the UHC mode. Okay, I think this is good enough to get started. I'd say at least. So now I have to place water. Water, water. Let me make an infant sprint here. Okay. Might be pretty hard to like get water everywhere. Let's, let, let, I'm gonna try it at least because the more I have, the better it is. So, oh, hey there. Um, we've been also some uh, experiencing quite some bugs in Minecraft, especially 1.8. Um, we have quite a big bug, like a pretty damn major one. That if you stop the server and it has still players on it, like if I were to type stop right now, the server wouldn't really stop. Like it would save the world and stuff. Like at least it would say that. But it doesn't actually shut down. It would never shut down. You you could see it in the console. Just just no. And 
Well, we figured out that if players are still on the server, like if, if there's CU players on the server, you can shut down fine. But if there's at least one player in the server, this problem occurs. And I've been also reporting it to the, to the Mojang bug tracker. I really hope to fix it soon, because in my opinion, this is a very big and game-breaking bug, especially for, like, for people who host, which is... Well, there are a lot of people who host, so I, I would really... If it would be Mojang, I would really try to fix it. Um, the another bug we... Well, Chris just discovered was basically... Um, let me check, let me check... Oh yeah, yeah, the, the the Java thing. Basically, whenever you shut down a server, it doesn't like kill the process. So the memory builds up and builds up, and one day you have all your RAM fill, filled up, and also you swap. Swap is basically if you don't have any RAM anymore, the computer allocates the the stuff it needs to save to the to the hard drive of course this is way slower but it's it's better than like crashing your computer so that's why what swap is and basically it it cannot java cannot kill all the process for some reason so it keeps um it keeps saving uh keeps the process loaded and that takes up a lot of like memory and again this is also very bad for people who are host like that's that should really be fixed. I I don't know if it's like a Minecraft problem or if it's just Java in general. I guess it's Minecraft. And I'm really surprised because in the 1.8 pre-release we had no problem with that stuff at all. And now with the final there are problems till like till you can't count anymore. And it's it's pretty annoying actually. And I, I just don't get why they where they are not able to fix those pretty major bugs. Or like do they not test stuff? Do they just rely on like releasing a snapshot, like an A version, find out that it crashes whenever you launch it, and then release a B version, and then one day later you release a C version till you have like all the feedback? Like do they not even test if a game crashes? Do they not even test if a server shuts down? I mean this is pretty general stuff to me like I would test this if I would be like developing a program or a game and I I just don't get it but yeah so um, I don't know how long I've been talking and if it's boring and stuff um, I I guess I can finish this like at least a small part or portion of it. What I I left clicked. Damn it! At least I guess so. Let me place here some more that it doesn't look that stupid. Place water here, and I should have some some nice coverage. For the beginning, uh, I should maybe hold stuff first, so I don't so I know where water is. Let me turn down the sound a bit, a tiny bit, and yeah. I, I'm looking forward, like how a big wheat field would look like. I've seen some stuff like si similar to that in like mod packs. But never in like actual in game, so yeah, vanilla. So I mean, game. So yeah, um, I think it might look pretty cool. Well, I guess we'll see. Should maybe play some one more right here. So I have no clue if I ever told this in a video. I've not been releasing videos that frequently in the last few weeks or months or <laughs> years but basically a few weeks ago um, when I was leaving work I sometimes when the weather is very nice I drive to work with my motorcycle 
just because I enjoyed writing it. And on on my way, like leaving work, I was standing at a red traffic light, and there was a like an actual accident in front of me. And basically, from three lanes wide, um, cars had to merge to one lane wide. And there was a bus, like, 10 meters in front of me, who was indicating the whole time that he wanted to um, turn to the middle lane, of course, so he can, like, get around this accident. And, well, as soon as the traffic light turned green, I, of course, waited a few seconds for the bus to be able to, like, actually change the lane. And... There was a taxi driver right next to me, and as soon as the light turned green, and I waited like one or two seconds, he started driving into the side of my motorcycle. <sighs> and oh my god. Well, of course, I I kind of screamed a bit because it's, it's actually really surprising how you react in a situation like this. <laughs> like in, in case of an accident, I found out it gets really. Accurated. I mean, I kind of have a reason to, but it's it's still surprising how accurate you really get. Like, if you say, like, if you're watching this video and you say, "Oh, I I would stay calm and I wouldn't scream and stuff," mm, I I wouldn't be too sure about this. Hmm. Um. I I just reading some mes messages that Chris just wrote me. Um, he's been trying out some new different Java arguments to like start the server, and looks like it uses way less memory. There might be some interesting arguments. I have to look into that. I mean, we have 16 gigs of RAM on the server, which is kind of not a lot for the the other stuff we have. Like we have a one terabyte hard drive. We have a uh, gigabit Ethernet. We have. Um, a, a eight core xenon processor with like four gigahertz or so. It's a pretty beefy server, but the RAM in comparison is not that big. So I'm I wouldn't want like saving memory if it has still the same performance. So might as well give the the parameters some shots. Okay, this reminds me of like Ethos Chocolate Oil uh, Island, Oiland. Saving the world, like every half an hour, I think. Yes, we've been automating stuff that needs to be automated in the last few weeks and days. And should be like right now, we make a backup um, every four hours. Like every four hours, we save the complete world, which is a pretty good rate, in my opinion. Since you never know what's what will happen, and yeah, like honestly, I have I think the episode is quite long right now, and let, let me just finish this bit here. Um, I will probably not plant this weed right now, just because. Well, actually, I might do off camera. It's not like it's super important. You need to see it. It's just planting some seeds. Um. But I, I guess that's it for this episode. I really hope that I can get into like the groove of talking and let's playing again. As you noticed, I'm, I've been not that busy, but I really want to get busier again. I also have some, some things planned, like stuff in preparation for Minecon. Um, that I want to not talk about it yet, because it's it's just not done or here yet. But if you see me at Minecon, this could be pretty cool, and I, I want to try it first because I before I like show it in the video or vlog stuff. Probably vlog. Or I want myself to be a vlog. But yeah, I I want to try this first, and I want to mess around a bit, and um, yeah. Oh god, I, I cannot even sprint anymore. My life sucks. Look at the hoe I used to dive up. Holy crap. This is a lot. 
so um yeah that is pretty much can i not show you yeah that's that's pretty much it from this video i guess there's not too much stuff to talk about i mean i'm sure there is some stuff to talk about but yeah <laughs> but yeah <laughs> So you get like stuff. I'm I'm just like really quickly finishing this off and then stepping away a bit and see how it looks like. I'll be done soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just be happy. Okay, I need to go to over here. Huh. I think this has some potential, like, if the whole field would be like this, and like actually weed planted, I think this would look pretty cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try it. I hope this person who is in the mountain doesn't mind it. I mean, if there's weed, like, it has a nice color, it, it should look, look good. Um, if not, they can always tear it down. So yeah, I guess that's it from today's episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have no clue what to say now. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you see us next time. And I hope I really record something. So yeah, see you guys. <laughs>